This is the second time the International Court has rejected jurisdictional objections raised by Venezuela. In December 2020, the court overruled Venezuela's objection by a vote of 12 to 4. In June 2022, Venezuela raised a new objection. Oral hearings were held in November 2022, during which both parties appeared and presented their arguments before the court. Today's ruling disposes of that objection and will require Venezuela to submit its written, its written pleadings on the merits of the case, that is, on the validity of the arbitral award and international boundary that it established. Guyana remains confident that its long-standing international boundary with Venezuela will be conformed by the court. Guyana has always been fully committed to the peaceful resolution of the dispute with its neighbor and sister republic in, a, in accordance with international law. That is why, after attempting unsuccessfully to achieve a diplomatic settlement through talks mediated by the United Nations Secretary General over more than two decades, Guyana brought the matter to the International Court of Justice for a final and binding determination. All member states of the United Nations, including Guyana and Venezuela, are obligated under the United Nations Charter to comply with the court's binding judgments.